Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris. Hope everybody's doing all right tonight. It is 10 o'clock and it is time to do another video. Yay! <laughs> I'm glad to be back guys. Um, missed you guys. So uh, tonight we're going to actually take a look at another great Steven uh, Wizard build. This is called the Transparency Build. Now I've had a few of you guys ask me uh, what would be a good build for like a Fire Stick user, Fire TV, um, somebody like that that has those devices. Um, this is going to be a pretty good build. You can try it out and let me know what you think, okay? Uh, but before we begin, uh, I'm definitely going to give a quick shout out to all you guys subscribing. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I, I just have to tell you over and over again how lucky I am to have each and every one of you on my channel. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate the love, the support, the comments that you all leave are awesome. Uh, you guys are very interactive, and I love that. I'd like to see a little bit more interaction, though. Um, so, you know, tell your friends, tell your family members about me. Um, make sure they know that, you know, if they have any issues or if they have any questions, or if there's anything they want to see, that I'm the go-to person. Because, like I said, I want to be your number one Cody source. And, uh, and definitely, definitely like the videos. Leave those thumbs up. Click on them for me, okay? Uh, for If this is your first time actually watching a video, click on the link below hit subscribe for me don't forget to do that because uh, I'd love to have you on board and you will not be disappointed guys I promise you you will not be disappointed uh, I've done two contest giveaways and given two brand new devices away uh, and all you had to do was be a subscriber that's the number one thing and answer a few questions very simple and then if you get the answers right you're thrown into a hat and basically, you have a chance to win a device that is super nice, all right? Just ask Brent Bradley. He was a recent winner of our last contest giveaway. Uh, and Butch Kastner, he won the first one. So the inaugural one, I guess you could say. Um, so those guys have two devices that would have cost probably about 50 to to $100. And you know what? It's free. I ended up paying shipping, handling, all that good stuff for them. So I'm excited to have you guys watch this video because this is going to be an awesome video. Um, but the other reason why I want you guys to come aboard is we do streaming device reviews. Uh, and that's usually what I do as the giveaway. And then we also um, do build reviews like we're doing tonight. So you guys will not be disappointed. I'm just glad to have you guys watching tonight. And again, thank you guys for subscribing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to go into Cody, and it is a fresh Cody 17.6 Krypton. Uh, so from here, if you're following along, you're going to go up to the gearbox, go ahead and click Enter. And then we're going to go down to System Settings, go ahead and click Enter. Now we're going to go down to Add-ons, click to the right, and we're going to go to Unknown Sources. And we're going to go ahead and click Enter. It's going to bring up the warning box for you. Uh, you have to hit yes, unfortunately, to move on. Uh, because if you don't, you're not going to be able to download anything to Cody. Because it's just your simple warning letting you know that if you're downloading things, uh, some personal data may be stored on the device that you know, may be leaked to someone else. It's just your standard, standard warning, okay? So don't, don't worry about a thing. Just hit yes. Now we're going to backspace once, and we're going to go down to File Manager. Go ahead and click Enter. Now that you're in the file manager, you're going to go down to Add Source. Go ahead and click Enter. And then enter one more time for me. Now, this is a URL that you have to type in to get to Steven Wizards. All right, so the thing that you need to remember, if you're new, you have to enter it just like I have it, okay? So don't miss out on anything, because if you miss any particular character, letter, or whatever, uh, it just won't work, okay? So what I want you to do is type in this, HTTP colon forward slash Stephen TV wizard dot X Y Z forward slash wizard all right so if you type it in just like that it'll work and then all you have to do is hit OK when you're done all right and just to kind of save some time you can delete that and name it what you want but for this case we're just going to name it wizard okay and once once you are okay with that, just hit okay. And as you can see, it's in there. Now, if you have 
a lot of um, URL sources and I'm assuming probably not very many of you guys do because this is probably your first time downloading uh, or you know you you've used to doing this before um, you know obviously uh, there's some options there uh, there's just not that many I don't have any I always start with fresh Cody um, so that's that's why it's not that that big of a deal but if you have a lot of URL sources you can name it anything you want and it'll be right here if it's downloaded correctly alright so from here we just want to backspace twice that's going to take us out to Cody's main menu. Alright, so from here you want to go down to add-ons. We're going to click enter. And then we're going to click up to the install box that I have highlighted there. Go ahead and click enter. And then we're going to scroll down to install from zip file. Go ahead and click enter. Now this is where the other thing comes into play too. So if you have uh, another URL source named wizard you would want to name it something else um, but we're going to go down because we only have wizard there one wizard we're going to go ahead and click enter and then down one space to plugin.program.stevenTVWizard go ahead and click enter alright and as you can see it's downloading now uh, if you were to go to my add-ons and then backspace you can see it says currently downloading add-ons all right, when the Steven TV Wizard box pops up, it says add-on has been installed, and then you'll have the Steven TV Wizard box pop up, okay? Now, on this, you can pretty much, if you have like a Real to Brit account or Tract account or anything like this, or favorites, uh, super favorites, repositories, um, you can click on any of these, and that will save on your settings, okay? But the only thing I'm worried about is clearing cache on startup, clearing packages on startup and clearing old thumbnails on startup because that makes the build run a little bit quicker and keeps it updated but as long as you have those three clicked on then go ahead and hit continue and this will bring up your other box which is the build menu box we're going to click enter now if you guys have not seen Steven Wizard builds before he has totally amazing builds this transparency build is awesome it, it truly is awesome um, so I can't wait to show you, but we're going to go down to the very bottom one. And what I was going to say is all these other ones are really nice. Uh, check them out because they are super nice builds. Uh, and I, like I said, I've already seen this one and I love it. I love the design. I love the layout. It's just really sharp. And once again, Steven's done an amazing job. And if you guys get a chance to talk to Steven, he's a great guy, great developer, and um, super, super nice. Uh, so thank you, Stephen, for putting these out for us and doing such an awesome job. All right, so from here, we're going to click the Transparency Build, and we're going to scroll all the way down to Standard Install. Okay, go ahead and click Enter. And then we're going to say Yes, Install. Okay, we're going to give it a few minutes here to actually download. Now, please, 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 not only do I want you to subscribe, I hit on that enough. Not only do I want you to hit the little bell there, click on that, that way you guys will be notified of any new videos, but please leave comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. Give me some thumbs up, baby. Uh, but seriously, um, you know, I love doing this for you guys, and uh, I love knowing that you guys are happy uh, about everything. Um, if a build doesn't work, I do apologize. Like I said, when I download these things, a lot of times I download them for the first time. And, uh, you know, I've had a lot of you guys that say, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. Um, the only thing I can tell you, honestly, is to try it again. You know, delete the build, try it again, re-download it. Uh, you know, if it still doesn't work, then maybe try another build. Um, but the developers do such a good job of uh, trying to update these builds keeping them current they have other builds that they're worried about um, so just keep that in mind if you are leaving comments I'm sure since i am showing you guys these builds from these different developers they're going to pay attention to that and they're going to do everything they can to update it okay so just kind of keep that in mind but uh, like i said i love doing this for you guys and if you guys have any comments please there's two ways you can get in touch with me you can email me um, definitely do that if you want. Um, I leave my email address always, every time at the bottom, the very bottom of the description box, okay? And then also you can just leave a general comment if you want to. And, um, and I promise you guys, 
Uh, I know I have sent emails out to a lot of different YouTubers and never got a response back. And I don't want to be that guy, guys. I know when I can start getting more and more and more uh, subscribers, you know, get up in the 30, 40,000, eventually it's going to be a little harder to do the immediate comments uh, or the immediate uh, responses. But I'm going to try my darndest, guys, because, you know, I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you guys watching and supporting me. All right, so as you can see, the box pops up, would you like to force close? And then you just hit yes. All right. All right, so as you can see, we're looking at the native launcher to my NVIDIA Shield. It's a great device. Uh, it has just about everything that you could possibly want. Uh, you can download Android games, play on here. Uh, I have, look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different forks. Well, Cody's not considered a fork, actually. Uh, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven forks that I download. That means I can have up to eight builds at any given time. If you guys uh, have favorite builds that you go to, but you get tired of, and then you go to another one, this is the way to do it, okay? Uh, but if you guys are interested in maybe me doing a device setup um, video, let me know, because that's something that I can do as well. I can watch it through, uh, launch it through, and show you exactly how to set up uh, from initial startup a device to make it your own, okay? So if this is something that you're interested in, let me know, because I would love to do, or I've been thinking about doing that anyway, but I'd love to show you guys, uh, you know, my setups and what I do. As you can see, I've got some really good stuff on here. I've got APK files, MobDroad, Terrarium TV, and Zion, which are all three greats. Uh, I have YouTube, uh, Netflix, uh, I have Aptoid, um, you know, everybody asks me what um, uh, VPN that I'm using, there you go, IP Vanish. So just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. I have my web browser, ES File Explorer, and so on and so forth, okay? So let's get this in this build. I'm excited about showing this build. But yeah, if, you, if there's anything you want to see uh, or want me to do videos on, don't hesitate to ask me. Uh, because like I said, I'm here for you guys, okay? All right, as soon as this loads, uh, we will go through the build. Uh, always, for the first time, always give the build enough time to actually download. Uh, give it a few minutes. And uh, you'll see at the top there, it'll say start uh, downloading build menus. Now this is a great, great, great build. I'm telling you right now. Uh, as you can see, it gives you the information. System uptime is busy right now. Uh, it gives you the time up in the right-hand corner. And uh, then it gives you a vertical menu, which I really like that. Not only does it give you a vertical menu, but with it having the vertical menu, uh, menu excuse me, I can't talk, uh, it gives you enough uh, room for the fan art which is awesome I love fan art I just love the way that it makes the builds look just look at this the way it's scrolling through uh, it's awesome uh, and also this build has widgets too which is really cool so we're just going to give it those uh, enough time to download give it a minute or so here uh, but always for your first time always make sure that you let the build do its thing that's the very most important thing that you need to do, okay? Because if you start moving through the build right now, um, chances are it's probably not going to work very good or it's going to freeze up probably. All right? So as you can see, my widgets are coming up. I love me some widgets. If you guys like widgets and you like them on the build, let me know. That's another thing you guys can let me know, okay? So it's pretty basic. Uh, and we're ready to roll. You've got movies, TV shows, you've got extended info mod, you've got music, kids section, streams, favorites, weather, and settings. All right, so pretty basic. Now the fun begins. All right, so there's several options here now that we can do this, all right? 
uh, as you can see, you can click to the right, and these are the popular movies that are out right now. Okay, so that's going to take you uh, to these movies. That's a quick link to these movies. Okay. And as you can see in the background, you got the updates. It keeps showing you that movie which is really awesome, okay? If you scroll down, you've got recently added movies. All right, so this keeps updating. All right, and then all you have to do is click to the left and it takes you back to the main section, all right? So from there, you can go on down, you got movie titles. also have the ability to go into any one of these so all you have to just click the movie that you want and we're going to give the bill just a little bit of time to, to download the movie and as you can see it loads perfectly fine and has great quality picture so very cool. All you have to do is click enter, and then it brings up here with just a little girl. new items there. Just hit stop. All right, so that's all there is to that. Now, you have another option, too. You can actually go ahead and click on movies. You click on movies. It gives you upcoming movies from Spence Flicks. You've got new releases. The movie database is now playing. In theaters, genres, movies by production company, the International Movie Database Top 250, International Movie Database Worst 100. You've got the movie database top rated, popular movie collections, movie by actors or actresses. Movies by years, horror, superhero, romance, you got your genres there. AFI, 100 Most Thrilling. Movies based on young adult boots. Let's go into that just, just to show you how it works. I try to be as thorough as I can in these builds, okay? That way you guys, um, you know, can definitely look at every different thing that we have here. Okay, as you can see, there is no movies in there by uh, the books, so it, it won't show up anything there. Or movies based on young adult books. Uh, but there's sci-fi movies. Search the movie database for a movie. And if you haven't seen Spin Flicks, Spins Flicks, uh, this is a great add-on. Really good add-on. So you can, like I said, you can access that by clicking on movies. Now watch this. If you click to the left, now look at this. You got movie library, you got Poseidon, Death Streams, Elysium, Myriad, Project X, Strictly HD, Spins Flicks, Urban Movies, Triangulum, Survivor, Video Add-ons. So you got a lot of different choices there. Okay, so that, that is awesome. Now if you go into Elysium. It brings up the Elysium menu, just like any of the other add-ons. You click on those, and it's going to bring up those. All right, so we're going to go into New Movies. Okay, nothing loaded there, so we go into Populars and see if that pulls up. Now, I notice, um, obviously, Covenant's been having some issues, um, and that's why I didn't see it on there. A lot of the developers are kind of staying away from Covenant right now. Um, but as you can see, we've got movies by Elysium right here. Now, the cool thing about this is, let's say we love It, and we don't want to have to search for It. That's one of our favorite movies. We don't want to search for that, because that way when we log in, 
we have it right there. All you have to do is click on and hold down on that select button. All right, so once again, let's do that again. Hold down your select button, and that pops up a menu. People also liked, you've got the trailer option, autoplay. You can add it to your library. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And it's going to put that in our library. All right, how cool is that, guys? If you long press the select button again, you can say watched in Elysium. You can play. You've got information on it. You've got Marcus watched, and you can even play it from there. All right, simple as that, and that's a great little sub menu. All right, but you, as you can tell, you got all of the top movies right there, all right, or popular movies. And you go back. And click to the right, and you're back to square one. So all kinds of stuff there. All right. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to TV shows. And once again, you've got popular TV shows. You've got recently added TV shows. You have TV shows and titles. And you click to the left, click on TV shows, and we're back to Spins Flicks again. So what's airing today? I didn't show you guys this before, but if there's anything airing today, it's going to bring up information on TV shows that was aired today. And it looks like there was 21. There you go. So this is another great way of, if you missed, for whatever reason, if you missed your show today, uh, all you have to do is log back on, click on the one you want, as far as uh, going into, I should say, uh, not clicking on the one you want, but going in the airing today, and then clicking on the movie that you want, or TV show. Lord, I'm losing it, guys. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, but there you go. You got widgets, more widgets, and more more widgets. And you click to the left, and you can pull up any number of these um, add-ons. And basically, it's going to bring up information for TV shows that way as well. So here you go. you got t uh, trending TV shows, popular TV shows, anticipated TV shows, and recently updated TV shows, TV show most, genres, other list general calendar, premier calendar, and search, recent searches, and all that. It's all from Death Streams. All right, moving on, guys. Extended Info Mod. All right, so under Extended Info Mod, let's say we wanted to watch Punisher. Just click on that, and off the bat, Here's your season one, and it gives you all of your episodes there in the season, which is really cool. And you can do that for any of these number ones here, there too. Okay, and all you have to do is scroll to the left. And if you want to click on Extended Info Mod, from here, all you have to do is click. Go in here real quick and click on all movies, the database, and there you go. It's going to bring up all the movies in the movie database. Now, I can't tell you enough how much I love this. I mean, I really can't. The extended info mod should be a must on every single build. So let's say we want to go in and watch Justice League. You just click Enter, and bam, it brings up the extended info mod. Now from here, you have several options. Okay, you can scroll up, and you see Covenant, Elysium, uh, there's Genesis Reborn, Poseidon, and there you go. You can actually access this movie to any of those add-ons. Or you can play it directly from here, 
and it's going to give you a list of options of different add-ons to view it through as you can see which is pretty much the same thing as the other you can also add it to your library here so and click enter and you can see it's adding it by scanning it now you can also view it through metallics or you can go into settings and change the settings how you want but the great thing about this is it says it's got its rating and it shows how many votes uh, how many minutes the runtime is when it was released and the budget and revenue I love that now it goes a step further if you scroll down one these are all gonna be movies that are similar to what you actually are looking at okay then this is the section if you scroll on down that's recommended by the movie database if you like Justice League or anything along that lines you have these options as well that you can actually watch so you don't have to go out and search for anything it's all right here you can go down again and it's got related movie list you go down again you got official videos YouTube videos you got your cast so let's say we want to find out what Amy Adams has been. We go ahead and click enter. And look guys, it's all the movies or TV shows that she's been in. Talk about a way to extend your movie experience. It's all right there guys. All right there. You can do it by crew members of the movies, uh, studios, uh, releases genres and so on and so forth there's reviews right here which is really cool keywords artwork fan art and it's all right there guys I mean literally it's like buying a blu-ray DVD and then paying the extras so that you can have the extras like that are on the DVD that's how really cool this is all right so all we have to do is go back and we're back to the main menu all right, next up, we've got music. So once again, you can click to the right and you have music box recommendation. Okay. You can actually click on music. And it brings up Django. So with Django, you can turn this device into your own personal jukebox, okay? Coming right out of your TV. <clears throat> and Django will let you do that. You can browse music, you can search artists, or search by songs, and it should be there. All right. Moving on down, we got kids. So click to the right, and there's your kids movies. Click on kids. And there you go. You got your myriad menu. You got Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Lion King, Monsters. A lot of great choices there for kids, guys. As you can see, even the Blu-ray or DVD is turning, guys. That's how much really thought that Steven puts into his builds. That's why he is so popular because he does little things like that to set off his account or set off his builds to anybody else. Amazing job. All right, next is streams. We can click on streams. And you have channel one, ESPN, channel two. Uh, you can scroll down. And you got all these great channels that you can view from. It's just like having Dish Network or DirecTV. There's 169 channels. That way you can scroll to the right and you can access any number of these channels as well. All right, moving on down, we got favorites.
click on favorites. Uh, there is none that's added just yet. Uh, if you add to the favorites, uh, obviously it's going to show up in here, okay? Pretty self-explanatory. All right, finally we got weather. Next beginner. And this gives you the forecast to zip code 11435. Okay, now we want to change that. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to change that as well. But you can also click to the left, and it gives you this information too. But if you go into settings, this is what I wanted to show you guys. If you go into settings, there's a couple of things I want to show you, first of all. Uh, you can actually, in order to go into the weather, you go down to services, go ahead and click enter. And then you're going to go down to weather. Click to the right, and then go down to settings, click enter, and then it's going to ask you for your location type. All you have to do is click enter, and then type in your zip code. And that's not my zip code. Getting overzealous with the, it's hard to kind of see that little. icon that keeps moving. But you'll type in your zip code. We're going to go down to done. Sorry guys. Uh, click enter. And then go down and type in your zip code. Okay, and then go down and click done. Alright, so it gives you a list of uh, zip codes there. And you can see West Virginia is the top one for me. And then we don't forget to do this because it won't save. But you have to go down and hit OK. Alright, that's pretty much that. Now, let's say, uh, once again, you don't want to, you, you hate that, that clicking noise, all right? That's important, all right? That's very important. So all you'd have to do is go into System, go down to Audio, click to the right, and you're going to go down to where it says GUI Sounds. Go ahead and click Enter, and then we're going to scroll up to where we see None. Go ahead and click Enter. And voila, you don't have any noises whatsoever, which is awesome. All right, now, if you guys are interested in knowing what skin this is, I have a lot of people that ask me uh, what skin that uh, is used. Okay, you would go into interface, scroll over to skin enter and that is the nebula skin all right so just kind of giving you an idea there you also have your estuary which is your same skin as your just basic regular cody the blue cody all right but this is nebula that is what this skin is you can also go into interface and let's say your build doesn't fit your tv all right so all i have to do is go to zoom and you can zoom out, or you can click to the right and zoom in to where it can fit it. All right, so I don't have to worry about that because mine fits it pretty good. But that's it, guys. Uh, and there's all kinds of different stuff that you can get into. But it's all right there. This is a great device. Um, so if you're interested in uh, getting NVIDIA Shield, just you know, definitely try it out. Uh, but this is also a great build that I'm showing you guys tonight. It's been a great video. So definitely let me know what you think, guys. If you like the video, leave me some thumbs up. If you uh, haven't subscribed yet, please click on the link below and hit subscribe. Because I'd love to have you on the channel. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff down the road. Uh, some really nice things uh, I've got planned. Um, I'm doing things to actually 
make this channel so much better. I just got to get a laptop. Once I get the laptop, uh, we're going to be doing live live events so I can actually get to see you guys. You get to see me. So um, definitely stay tuned for that. And once again, if you haven't subscribed, please click on the link below and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on getting to see wonderful things uh, and uh, also getting a chance to win some great devices. So I am out of here, guys. It is 1042. You guys have an awesome night. Again, I'm so thankful to have you guys aboard. You guys rock. Thank you, guys. Take care.